Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I got a great opportunity. I'm debuting the brand new 2024 Parker 2900 CC. Let's check it out. So right off the bat, this is a brand new model, which means brand new hull, brand new deck. In this case, brand new stringer system. This is a full composite boat. It's got a 9.6 beam. It's 191 gallons of fuel and 28.3 overall. This is a really big 28 foot boat. When you add the bracket in, it makes it feel even bigger. Those motors stretch out even 28 inches longer than that. So this boat, even though it's only 28, you know, 29 feet, this really rides closer to a 30, 31. So start off in the back. This boat is powered with twin 300 Yamahas. This is the new series with a fully integrated digital steering system coming forward from that this is a transom that's going to be familiar to most of you 2801 guys so we have a big fish box right here in the back elevated above the deck which i like a lot which means that gravity can just pull the water right out so this drains directly overboard no macerators no pumps none of that so the beauty is in the simplicity there same spot in uh in this boat as the 2801 as well for the live well so big deep live well here transom seat comes down but i do like the new upholstery design got some really nice diamond plated stitching some uh, extra colors here some accent colors so i love that a lot uh, big fish boxes so this is another feature that they changed for 2024 and for this model specifically uh, as well as the new 26 we finally have from parker some floor storage so massive fish boxes port and starboard side so love to see that fully insulated in this case those drains are below the water line so you do have to have some macerator pumps to get those uh, get those dry all right so let's talk about this newly designed helm seat and leaning post area if i fold this down you have a lot of hidden tackle storage right behind the backrest of this console seat and then directly underneath right where the other one was on the 2801 we have a nice secondary live well here so two live walls on this boat if you do want to use this as a cooler you can it is insulated there's some nice uh, access system access underneath that looks like we got some more tackle storage on the sides here let's open those up yeah plano box storage can't have enough of that and there is a mirroring one on the opposite side let's come forward and check out the new helm seat here nice tall back diamond stitched upholstery twin bolsters and then underneath that another little hidey hole for phones wallets cell phones keys whatever you need in this case we have a good spot for your covers for your garments So here at the helm, there's a lot going on, but it's simple at the same time. So we have our twin Garmin 8612s. Of course, you guys are familiar with Garmin. Uh, our Yamaha gauge here, right in the center, right where you want to see that. But the best part about this helm is that now that we have the new Yamahas uh, for these Parker boats, we can incorporate the digital electronic steering, the DES Yamaha Helmmaster steering, which means joystick integration. So I've had a lot of customers ask me about adding joysticks to their 2801s. Now we can do that on the 2900s. Windless anchor control, Lenco digital trim tabs, nice uh, display here with the Parker logo on it with all of our backlit electronics and switching. And then of course with the Hellmaster, you get the standard autopilot on there as well. This is an all new design, uh, fully integrated T-top. So all the piping is flush into the side of the console. Love to see that, opens up this walkway right here so well. Uh, so we don't have to walk sideways to be able to get through here. So that's a nice touch. Full wrap around windshield, love that. Open up top, which means we get some venting when we're running, so it's not gonna get too hot behind the windshield. And then of course our head compartment down below, uh, there's porta potty down there, plenty of storage, and uh, of course access to the back of the dash. Now this is what I'm talking about, man. Love this. Massive coffin box. This is plenty, at least for me. Some of you hardcore guys are gonna fill up the rest of these fish boxes, but for just me, one day, I would have a hard time filling this up with Red Snapper, but love to see that. Dry storage, again, the drain is above the water line, which means that this can drain directly overboard without needing any pumps. Just like the Parker that we know and love, this is a hardcore fishing boat. But 
Now it's a little easier to convince the wife. Look at the bow on this thing. Tons of seating, nice diamond stitch upholstery, forward facing backrests. I've got nice leg room up here where I can sit and relax, have a good time and hang out. There is a pad option where you can fill this gap in between the port and starboard uh, seats here and the bow. You can fill this whole area in, turn that into a full casting platform or even a full sun pad. So love that they're incorporating the family. This is a great option from Parker. Big access here to the through hole windlass. On the 2801, we had a top mounted windlass. Now this is sleek and elegant through hole windlass design. Tons of access, massive hole here for our road and chain. And there is a wash down option so you can spray it off as your anchor comes back up and keep your whole boat clean. The other thing I love about this whole bow is how wide this thing is. I can get up here with nice toe kicks on both sides. I can walk around this whole bow. So whether I needed a gaff of fish or wrap a rod line around or grab my anchor, whatever I need to do, I've got tons of bow room up here. I'm thinking cast net throws right now, so good touch. We've all come to know and love Parker for their seaworthiness and fishability, but this Parker 2900 encompasses something that everyone in the family can enjoy. Go out to your local Parker dealer, go check one out for yourself, and be sure to tell me what you think in the comments. We'll see you in the next one.